Welcome to Vavork. In this video series, we are going to examine the basics of VMware VRISE operations and beyond. Let's get started. Hello, and thank you for joining me in this video series in which we're going to explore VMware VRISE operations. My name is Brian Watrous. I'm a principal instructor with VMware Education. It's my pleasure and privilege to take you on this journey in this video and the videos which will follow. Uh, by the way, if you take a look at the info thing up in the top right hand corner, you can find the entire playlist for this video series in case you didn't come in through the playlist and just randomly landed on this video. You can take a look at the playlist to see all the videos in the sequence. So again, what we're going to be doing in this sequence of videos is taking a look not just at the basics of VRISE operations. This isn't just going to be a basic tutorial, but rather uh, as we go onwards, we'll start branching out into more and more advanced topics. So let's get started. VMware VRISE operations provides a number of capabilities. Uh, the following list is just a partial list. So one of the things that VRISE operations does for you is it it monitors and analyzes the performance of your infrastructure. Now from here on out, when I say infrastructure, um, many times I'll be talking about your vSphere infrastructure, but let's make clear right from the get-go that vRealize Operations is not limited to analyzing just your vSphere infrastructure. It can analyze more parts of your IT infrastructure, far beyond just vSphere itself. Another capability of vRealize Operations is its ability to monitor the capacity in your environment. So for instance, in your vSphere environment, you have a number of hosts and clusters and data stores and other infrastructure objects such as those, which collectively provide the capacity that your virtual machines utilize. As you run more and more virtual machines in your environment, as you're on heavier and heavier workloads, uh, eventually you could run out of capacity. Well, we want to make certain that you're aware of the capacity issues if they are arising long before they actually become problems. So vRealize Operations has a number of mechanisms to help you to not just analyze what the current capacity situation is in your environment, but to also perform what if scenario modeling to see what would happen, for instance, if you added 25 more uh, uh, web servers. Now I'm just using the number 25 in web servers as an example. The what if scenario modeling is very, very flexible. And we'll take a look at that later on in this video series. Another capability of VRISE operations is its ability to check for security and other compliance issues in your vSphere infrastructure. So out of the box, we perform a security compliance check. But with additional management packs that you can install, you can potentially perform other types of compliance checking. VRISE Operations has a number of mechanisms to help you troubleshoot and remediate when problems are occurring in your environment. So for instance, if a cluster's uh, workload is, is going higher and higher, or a host has gone down, or a virtual machine is experiencing disk latency, all sorts of issues such as these and many, many more can be detected automatically by VRISE Operations through mechanisms such as our alerts. And those alerts don't just tell you that there's a problem. The alerts are designed to provide actionable recommendations for what to do to resolve those problems. We'll talk more about alerts in a little bit here. Another feature of VRISE operations is its workload balancing capability. Now here what we mean specifically like workload balancing is this is a feature, workload optimization is a feature of VRISE operations that's designed to work in conjunction with vSphere DRS. Whereas vSphere DRS is monitoring the load of your virtual machines on the host within a cluster, vRISE operations workload optimization takes that a step further. Workload optimization in vRISE op operations is capable of monitoring virtual machines and potentially migrate them in order to better balance the load or alternatively to consolidate the load across clusters in your environment. So again, DRS is managing the VM load on hosts within a cluster, and the realized operations workload optimization is performing optimization across clusters. Again, those two features are designed to work together hand in hand. 
One of the ways that VRISE operations provides you the ability to see what's going on in your environment is through the collection of dashboards that we provide. Additionally, you can get more dashboards by installing management packs from VMware or other third-party vendors, and potentially you can create your own custom dashboards. We'll talk about those in more detail in a few moments. Additionally, VRISE Operations provides various reports. Again, reports from VMware, reports from third-party vendors, and potentially you can create your own reports to see what's going on in your infrastructure in terms of capacity issues, performance issues, and so forth. And last, but certainly not least, and by the way, this, this is the last bullet, but this is not the last of the features of VRISE Operations, but it's the last on our list. VRISE Operations has the ability to dig into your virtual machines using a capability that allows us to see what's going on in the operating system within those virtual machines, what's going on within the applications, what's going on with the middleware and databases. Again, this is a mechanism known as work, excuse me, known as endpoint operations, and we'll dive into that subject later on in this video series. So as you can see, this incomplete list of capabilities here shows that VMware VRISE Operations has a slew of functionality that can benefit you. But how does VRISE Operations do all this? Well, a core part of what VRISE Operations has within it are solutions to monitor and analyze different parts of your IT infrastructure. And these different solutions contain data adapters that will go out in contact systems, such as your vCenter system, to find out what's going on in your environment. As you can see from these first two examples, VRISE operations can monitor various VMware products and technologies, but by installing additional management packs, you can analyze and monitor more of your IT infrastructure. You can enhance the monitoring capabilities of VRISE operations by downloading management packs from VMware Solution Exchange which you get to by going to marketplace.vmware.com. As you can see here in this truncated screenshot here, there are a number of different management packs available for download. As you can see um, here, we see management packs from third-party vendors. Plus, additionally, there are management packs from VMware for other VMware products and technologies. So again, if you go to marketplace.vmware.com, you can discover more about these management packs. Now, the management packs themselves contain a number of different components, including uh, each will contain one or more data adapters so that they can go out to their different types of systems to gather performance metrics and other data. But in addition to the, the data adapter, which actually gets the data, each of these management packs comes with a number of different mechanisms that allow you to make sense of that data. Data by itself is interesting, but to make things really interesting and useful, you need things such as dashboards. Each of those management packs contains multiple dashboards to help you make sense of the data that they're gathering on whatever type of system they happen to be monitoring. In this particular example here, we're looking at one of the standard dashboards provided by, uh, provided by VMware VRISE operations and actually built in natively into the product itself. Um, the dashboard that you see here is a dashboard that's analyzing, in this particular case, vSphere clusters and how busy they are. And uh, just in general, without going to the specifics of this particular dashboard, notice that the dashboard is comprised of different sections or um, column sections, boxes, rectangles, whatever you want to call them. Each of these is a widget that's designed to provide information in a particular way. So over here on the left, we have some bar charts. In the middle, we have some graphs. Over on the right, we have some tabular uh, information about our infrastructure. And again, these are just three example widgets out of the 40 plus different widgets that VRISE Operations provides. We'll talk more about dashboards in upcoming videos. But another thing that's included in the management packs that you download are a variety of reports to provide information about what's going on with whatever it is that the management pack is monitoring. And as you can see here, these reports are available in PDF format. But we can also produce reports in CSV, comma separated value format, so that if you're so inclined, you can take the, the raw data behind the report into tools such as uh, Microsoft Excel or into programming language so that you can parse the data and, and um, process it however is appropriate in your environment. 
Uh, assuming we are working with PDFs or CSVs of these reports, we will certainly display the reports themselves within the VRISE operations interface. But in addition to being able to view the reports within VRISE operations, we can also email, automatically email the reports or deposit them in a file share or other such mechanisms. So again, uh, as you download each management pack, you ought to take a look at what reports they provide. Management packs also provide alerts to notify you when issues are going on in your environment. There are health alerts, there are risk alerts, there are efficiency alerts of all sorts of types. As you can see here in this particular screenshot, uh, we're showing a very truncated list of the alerts that are triggering in my environment. As you can see here, we can see that there's some issues dealing with the cluster in my environment. Uh, there apparently is some sort of um, health issue with a data center, and there's something going on with snapshots in one of my virtual machines. Now, these alerts don't just report that problems are occurring. If you click through these alerts, they will provide recommendations, actionable recommendations for how to resolve the problem that the alert's reporting. And in addition, if you're interested in the gory details of what's going on behind these alerts, we have detailed information about the symptoms, the root cause, and everything that's going on behind these alerts. Again, each time you install a new management pack, take a look at the alerts that they provide. Okay, now that you know uh, quite a bit about what VRISE Operations is and what it does, I'd like to point you to the URL on the screen here, where you'll find lots of information about VRISE Operations. But in addition, there is a table there that I would point you to specifically, in which the page and the table in it discusses the three different editions of VRISE Operations. There's a Standard Edition, Advanced Edition, and Enterprise Edition. And depending upon which edition of VRISE Operations you have, that will unlock certain capabilities. Uh, as you go forward in this video series, um, please do be aware that we will be talking about features that may not be available in all editions. So again, consult this URL for information about which features are available in which editions. All right, having said that, we've made it through our first video, but we've got lots more coming up to talk about what VRI's operations does. So hang on and watch the next video. We have loads of more information coming up in this video series. In the next video, we're going to discuss how to train VRI's operations to understand your environment better.